Okay, now in substitution, a lot of times we're going to have word problems where we don't have nice, neat equations laid out for us already. We'll just have some gross information that we just need to work on. Substitution is a very good way to handle this. Suppose you're trying to start yourself a business. You're going to You've got a software program that you've written, and you want to put it out there at the next computer show. Well, you're going to have to buy some equipment for yourself. You're going to buy a computer, um, a uh, disk copier, uh, something that will print the, uh, the uh, covers on the uh, disks and the boxes and the, the stuff that goes in the jewel boxes and all that stuff. And that's all going to cost you close to $4,000, $3,910. And a dollar twenty-five for each disc for all that other stuff, you know, to silk screen the disc and to the jewel case and all that. And you believe that you can sell those discs at the computer show for eleven dollars and fifty cents a disc. Well, so the question becomes: How many discs are you going to have to sell to break even? Well, let's find out. So the first thing I'm going to do is your costs. Well, your costs are going to be 3,910 plus 1.25 discs. And that's going to be your cost. But you want to recover your costs. So your costs will be recovered if you can sell 11.50 discs, so long as those discs are equal. And that's what you must recover your costs at. So now we're just going to set them up to be equal. 3,910 plus 1.25d must equal at least 11.50d. Now we're going to subtract this from both sides. We're going to come up with our answer here. Uh, this looks like ten dollars and twenty-five cents times d. Those two go away, so that must equal three thousand nine hundred and ten. We pull out our trusty, rusty, handy dandy calculator, and we put our numbers in. We put, we, we divide both sides by ten twenty-five. 10.25, and this will give us the number of discs that we need to sell. So, what have I got? I'm going to have 3,910 divided by 10.25, and that'll equal 381.46. Well, I can't sell a 0.46 disc, so I must round this up even though that looks like a round down. So I must sell at least 382 discs to recover my costs of pre producing those 382 discs. So there we go. It's all in setting up the equation in the first place. If you can get the equation set up, you can get your answer. Okay? So, we know how much startup costs were, and we know how much each disk is going to sell for. From there, we use substitution, and we come up with our answer.